Hello everyone, today I would like to talk to you about shopping for fish online, especially salt water fish. Um, now I know not, not everybody is open to this and not everybody has experience um, shopping for fish online. It kind of sounds interesting but it became a very big part of the hobby. So I would like to share with you some of my tips, some of the way I would like to shop around and show you guys all the ways I look around and try to get the best rates because we all know that this hobby is very expensive and the cheapest rates that you can get are always the best for the same fish. We all know that. So this is just on a random day in the week on a Monday. Now saltwaterfish.com will always have um, certain sales, certain promotions that they would give. Um, for an example, if you want to see like all their sales, you would click here and they would show you their prices for fish that they have on sale. So you could just go through this. Um, sometimes you can find great deals. Sometimes you could find like a, it looks like a deal, but really you could find the same fish for cheaper on a different site. So the main thing I would advise people is to do is um, Really, you have to know what you want before you shop. Some people, I don't know how many, but some people would just go in, let me just buy this, let me buy this because I just want it. Um, if you have a plan before you buy, if you have like a certain fish that you want, it's much better to order then because like then you could just break down your order through that fish. Um, I'll give you an example. Let's say I, I want a leopard dress, which is a fish on my bucket list and I will be getting. Um, I would go to Rasses, um, I would see their prices for Rasses. So I see right here, this one is 50, this one is 75, it's the same fish, just different sizes. And they have the regular leopard dress, a female for $39.99. Now, as I know, my local Petco sells pet leopard dresses for $39.99 as well. But they would sell the 2.5 inch, 3.25 inch, and in that area they would sell even bigger than that for $39.99. So the question is, should I buy it online or should I buy it in the pet store? Now I know people don't like Petco, but for me, I know when they get in the fish, I could just pick it up over there. It's basically the same thing as buying it online. Now the pros of buying online is you have a guarantee. They guarantee you for 14 days, some some do maybe more, some do maybe less, it depends who you go with, but usually it's 14 days. So that's basically the reason why you would want to shop with an uh, online vendor. Also rates, um, sometimes they give you very good deals, sometimes you can find a fish that you can't find anywhere else for um, like cheaper. Um, you Like for example a blue, blue throat trigger fish. When I go to LFS, I would see this fish for $100, um, cheapest maybe $80. Over here they have it for $60. Um, I was able to get one for $49.99. Sadly, it didn't make it. Um, that was kind of sad, but listen, life happens. Um, Again, you Jeff, yeah, you really have to shop around. Um, you can look, you can look at what you want, and kind of decide. Okay, let's say I gave you the example with a leopard dress, but I'll show you for an example, Antheus. Now on this website, Antheus are pretty expensive. I'll tell you, in my local Petco, I could get a live tail Antheus for twenty five dollars. Um, over here, they're selling a male for forty four. And my pet call, I get a mail for $29.99 or $34, depends on the size. So again, you have to like shop around. Now, I know nobody loves Petco. People trash on Petco, but let's face it. Petco gets the most hobbyists started. When you need a tank, you go to Petco. When you need certain things, you go to Petco. Let's face it, they're the Goliath of the business and... The fact is that they're, you know, they're here to stay. So might as well take advantage of the situation and you could shop there. You just have to look at the fish before you buy it. It's common sense. Um, a Royal Grandma over here is $35.99. You can get it at Petco for $19.99. You can get it at your LFS for cheaper than this. 
So again, you really have to know what you're shopping for and you have to know the rates, what you're looking for. Um, large angels, I'm not 100% sure on the rates. Um, I know that some angels could be cheaper here and sometimes they could be more expensive. It depends on the day, really. Um, so yeah, you, you just basically want to shop around. You could go to your LFS, you can go to a local Petco and see if you don't have a Petco, then you're kind of stuck. Um, yeah, there's not much you could do so to compare prices because some Petcos are different. I know a few Petcos that they would sell a leopard dress for $39.99 and then you would see it in another store for $50 or $60. So their prices vary. It's kind of interesting, but sometimes they charge for fish differently. But not too much different, but sometimes it's pretty different. So you have to know your Petco. And you know what? Um, the cool thing about Petco is you go order it in. So let's say they sell that leopard dress, but they don't have it. Or let's say they sell whatever you want, a certain clownfish. You can always tell them, bring it in next week. If they can, they'll let you know. So that's the good thing about Petco. Um, now, tangs in this website are pretty expensive. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying here tangs. Now, they do have a good deal on a Tamini tank, but again, this is one of their super specials. This is like, like one of their deals of the day, I guess, or deals of the week. Um, yeah, so that would be like a good buy. So let's say you have a Tamini tank on your list. You would buy this fish, add it to your cart, to your $30, let's say. So then you would find something else you want. Or maybe you have something in your mind that I already wanted. Let's say I have that leopard dress. You can add that leopard dress. You're already at $70. Um, now, your free shipping for this website is $79. And you have to put it in the code. And, and that's how you get free shipping. But if you want a freebie... Now, this is very cool about this website. They do offer you freebies for a certain amount you spend. If you spend $125, you could use um, one of these items, a clownfish, conch, uh, anemone, um, acromis. Um, if you spend $160, you could get a blue tang. Um, these are featured premium freebies, so these are like not all, all the time that you could get these. But right now, if you spend $160 when I'm making this video, you could get one of these free which is very cool. It's a very cool feature and it makes people actually want to get to $160, you know. If I'm already spending $40, $140, um, spend the extra 20 and you can get an extra fish for free. Um, sometimes that's worth it. If that's not worth it for you, then don't do it. But again, that's the cool thing about this website. Um, so you can get to free shipping on $80. So you could just buy two fish over here and uh, basically get get free shipping and you're good to go you get your fish you have 14 day guarantee um as long as your tank is cool and good um they don't really ask you questions you just have to take a picture of the fish on a white background that is a recommendation um not a recommendation that's actually the rule um the problem is when you have an established tank i'll tell you this very open and clearly so you understand when you ha let's say i buy a ras or one of these small fish, let's say a goby or something. I, I actually, I, this fish, this four wheel drive goby, I bought this fish for eleven ninety nine. dollars um, The saddest part is it died. Um, it didn't make it, it came in very bad, but he was like trying to hang on, but he didn't make it. The problem is that when he died, he disappeared. So I couldn't find his body, I couldn't take a picture, I couldn't get my guarantee on him. This is very bad, but again, I understand the company for why they would want pictures. I could I could, I could imagine if they didn't ask for pictures what people could take advantage of. Sadly, we live in this world, but it is what it is. Um, so it's a kind of a problem. So if you have a big tank and establish and you have uh, hermit crabs and shrimp and one of your fish die, and you don't find the body, it's basically you lost your money, you lost your guarantee, they're not going to guarantee you. Now, the interesting is, there's a different vendor called Live Aquaria, where I did have this problem the first time I ordered with them. I said, I don't know where the body is, I can't find it. They did give me back my money, but that's for a different episode. I'll talk about that um, online vendor another time to give you the comparison. But basically, yeah, so this is um, saltwaterfish.com. Um, Again, always do your research, shop around. You always have to have that one fish or two fish that you really want. 
um, look, compare on a few websites what you want to see um, and then you could just uh, find out if it works for you if you want like for an example right now if you want a Tamini tank you can get it for $29.99 which is a very good price your Petco would sell it for $56 or in that range um, a Naso tank is okay priced so again you could have uh, pros and cons so that's why so um buying online is uh is like difficult because sometimes you you're not getting a deal sometimes you are and i recommend if you're gonna buy online at least get the deal too there's like something about the guarantee absolutely the guarantee is great but if you can get a guarantee and a great rate and good service that's important now about the lfs um i know that a lot of people want to support their lfs and take care of them and always come back to them and absolutely we should always come to our lfs's but for the people that are, are on a budget and they can afford to pay thirty dollars forty dollars more for a fish i really don't understand why you should go there except for two things and those two things are coral and invertebrates um coral do not buy from this website don't even touch this website when it comes to coral you will get drained i don't know why they're so expensive it's ridiculous you can find these you can find coral for a quarter of the price of what they're selling it here um so don't even touch this website when it comes to coral um they kind of have to learn that i don't know i don't know how people buy this but an assorted coral frag, which these frags look like the easy, typical coral that grow very fast. And most people have, and most people want to give away. They're charging you $34 for this. Um, you can get it at your LFS for $10, $15 per frag. So I'm not sure. Um, yeah, just stay far away from coral from this website. Don't buy coral. Go to our LFS. Go to a different website. Stay far away. And I all encourage you to go to a LFS to buy coral not Petco stay far away from Petco Petco is also very expensive with coral you have to actually go to a reef store um, a private owned business they usually have the best deals for coral um, yeah so that's basically the story with coral stay far away um, now invertebrates are a different story um, Invertebrates are really a hit or miss. Now, your LFS would usually have good prices on shrimp. Um, my LFS has twenty dollars for a cleaner shrimp. Over here, it's thirty-one, um, thirty-two actually. Um, they have thirty dollars for a fire shrimp. Over here, it's way more expensive. So yeah, over here, um, the shrimp is way more expensive than your LFS. But if you would look at other items sometimes you could find a cheaper item the tuxedo urchin looks cheaper than my lfs but it's not that much cheaper that i would like die to buy it online so it, again it's a hit or miss anemones are something to talk about because some lfs's would charge 50 dollars for a um a, a regular green bubble tip anemone and some would charge 30 dollars. It, it really depends where you are what location you are if you're in the middle of the country or in the one of the coasts um if 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 reefing is popular then it would be cheaper if if it's rare it would be more expensive now one thing under this website is if you want a mini maxi carpet anemone they always have cheap prices on them i mean they're pretty good so yeah you can always check it out over here petco is like seven dollars more but you know i'm just letting you know that this website always has um many carpet anemones for cheap um yeah so that's the story with anemones clams i would definitely tell you didn't even have clams here but i would definitely tell you go to your lfs or to a petco petco sometimes has um very nice clams for thirty dollars forty dollars i've I, I have one in my other tank for forty dollars um not bad they live they're good they're healthy just make sure when you put your hand over it it closes that's how you know they're healthy and that's my overall look on this website again it's a good website they could fix their customer service um not the best customer service um you have to call them you have to leave a message um they don't always answer the phone i guess they're overwhelmed um 
their email response is not the fastest, I have to say. Um, I guess it's just part of the business. Um, they should work on it if they want honest opinions. That's what I would tell them. So if you have any fish that you would love to buy and you see it for cheap over here, definitely take the opportunity to buy it. It's definitely worth it. You can find sometimes very good deals here. You could always uh, mix and match. You could always compare prices with your LFS. And if you know your LFS very well and he's a nice guy, maybe you could tell him, hey, I see this fish on, on some, some website for this much. Maybe he'll match it if you're lucky. But if you can't do it, then, then, you know, no hard feelings. It's just good business. You always have to do what's best for you, in my opinion. If you don't believe that, okay, heads to you. But, yeah, the, I'm just here to help you guys get cheaper rates. Um, and, yeah, thank you so much. Please subscribe and leave a like. Let me know what your thoughts are. And see you in the next video where we will re review Live Aquaria.